Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the year 2018 and the year 2018, um, we will have the energy of justice. So 2018 is the energy of justice. I want to say thank you to all the Virgos. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't stop thanking you guys. Um, 2017 was just the most surprising year for me and um, these energy vibration readings I'm so grateful thank you for the supports the likes the shares please thumbs up and share these videos um, I want to say to each and every Virgo out there I so love you guys we are all earth sign people we are here our journey is just like the hardest because we deal with every everyone energy vibration this year is going to be um, a wonderful year for you guys um, as I look at this a lot of issues that needs to be dealt with a lot of situation um, and this year is the year of justice please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign because energy of the sun moon and rising um, is coming in to help you guys what is happening is that you are going to be um, listen to the general readings and with the general readings they're going to be the quarter readings and all that that is coming up so this is going to be positive for you guys um, what is happening for you Gemini uh, uh, sorry Virgos um, it is um, a positive year that is coming through it's a year of uh, granting um, wishes to some of you okay all right please write down the information that I'm about to give um, okay oh my god okay you Virgos are going to be dealing with a lot of karmatic situation in this year I can say this um, legalities is going to happen in January whatever that has happened there is going to be legalities that is um, happening in January there's going to be an end to whatever um, legal situation that is happening I am seeing a lot of energy that is happening there is going to be justice there's going to be the tower there is going to information coming out and there is going to be an end then you are going to have new beginnings that is happening and the energy of the world which is positive you are going to uh, it's so write these down your best month of this year is going to be June June is going to be your best month July is going to be your best month and December so you guys you Virgos are September you have to deal with the energy of the devil on your birthday so there is transformation there is things that are happening that you have to look at certain aspect for you Virgos so um, and I can't do a question and answer reading because this is a general reading this is a year reading so I'm seeing a lot of stuff happening for you Virgos but your best month is going to be June July and December June July and December is going to be your best month June July and December um, August is going to be actually a good month for you because with August uh, um, so you know June July August and December is going to be very positive good months for you Virgos write that down the number that is very important for you Virgos is going to be um, 3 um, 10 5 and 17 3 10 5 17 and 21 3 10 5 17 and 21 okay so we're gonna go right in your readings and the first month what we have to deal with is a justice a legal situation that is going to come up for you Virgos in the month of January so um, whatever legalities that you have whatever unjust that was done to you whatever you have done to other people whatever other people has done to you justice is going to step in and it's going to come to an end okay justice is going to step in and it's going to come to an end okay so whatever that has transpired the last couple of months the last couple of years whether it's a legal situation illegalities of whatever form 
the tower whatever lies that was there whatever that was transpiring is going to come to an end because justice is going to step in and see the injustice of something that happened okay as we look at February and February is a lucky month for a lot of people but not for you guys it could be um, luck in some way because the energy of the tower is here the energy of the tower in February is going to take things away that no longer serve you this energy of the tower is uh, as if justice came in in January and in February the tower it's gonna break down it's gonna break out or break down all the situation that has been built up against you all the blockages all the negative things that people all the 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 the, the, the mountains that was placed all the blockages are going to be ending in February so whatever blocks that was made for you Virgos and that was keeping you from moving forward it's going to be broken down in February as we look at March as we look at March we have the energy vibration of the magician the energy vibration of the magician as we look at March we have the energy vibration of the magician what is here what is happening for the energy of March is that um, um, it, it's as if miraculous things are going to happen people are going to come in the universe is going to send in people to help you on your whatever that has transpired the universe is going to find a magical solutions and this is what I say to people whenever you're in solutions call upon the universal angels and guide for divine intervention and ask for a magical solution to whatever problem that is going around whatever problem that is happening call upon the universe and ask for a magical solution on situations here to be balanced out so the first three months of the year for you guys is going to be as if you know you're you're been move you're moving out of something um, for some people maybe you're not aware that there were things that was happening um, behind your back there was injustice things that was happening behind your back and justice came in and saw this and um, removed this energy so justice came in and then the tower came afterwards and then the magician people situations are going to come in your life that is going to help you to move you forward to something better okay let's look at your second quarter you begin the second quarter with the energy of death so this is good this is whatever that has transpired in the first quarter with the energy of judgment with the energy of justice and the tower whatever that was blocking you whoever these people situations were the energy of that transformation come in to remove them as you see the the swift here it's going to one time out clear it's like it's clearing the tower with the energy of that coming in is a clear it's clearing things situation that has blocked you and as the not let your energy flow and not let you be flowing it's going to remove that and this is going to be good in the month of may in the month of may you have the energy vibration of um, information breakthroughs coming through information coming through because a tower came um, and, and, and the breakthroughs are coming through and you can see this energy happening in the year for a lot of signs that the energy of the tower and after the tower there is breakthroughs coming through because things are being coming out things are coming out this is going to affect you Virgos this is going to affect a lot of people in the world information will be coming out from government services that sort of a thing but whatever the tower because with the energy of justice you're looking at government service legalities and that sort of a thing and whatever that was not balanced and whatever that was not honest is going to break down and did with that breakdown break Jews and information are going to come through these break Jews and information is going to bring you something very positive because it brings you in the month of June to wonderful wonderful abundance and success so here you see from Monday uh, from 
January until um, May, there was a transformation that was happening in your life. Whatever the blockages was, whatever that was blocking you, whatever situation that was happening, whatever people were placing in your way is now being removed away. And now is an ending with a new success because the month of um, April brings in the transformation. And with the transformation came breakthroughs, uh, ending, ending, ending. In April, it went ending, ending, ending. And with that ending, that ending brought through information, breakthroughs that came in. And now the end of that and success is coming at you in June. This is wonderful, wonderful for you, Virgos. As we look at the energy of July, um, so looking back at the second quarter, it's going to be endings happening, breakthroughs, information are coming through, um, breakthroughs and information are coming through. And what is going to happen is that you are going to be finally coming out of a situation and moving into something which is much better. So you're ending the first half of the year on a good note because you have the energy of balance of the world coming in. The world is supporting you, um, Gem you Virgos, because what is happening here is that you had hair, then you had fire, and then you had hair. So the air, the first quarter was of hair, um, justice, and then the tower fire, and then hair again. But this last hair in March is bringing you success. As you look at April, the ending of water, it is water. You have water with a transformation and water with a breakthroughs that is coming through. So your second quarter is water and water. There's just, just moving out. There's endings happening and breakthroughs, information coming through, which is going to bring you to a positive new beginning. And this is going to be good. So your first half of your year is going to be positive. As we look at the second half of your year, we are starting in the month of July. July is your lucky month. July is when the Wheel of Fortune comes in. So it depends on what sort of energy you're working on, what sort of energy vibrator that is happening. The energy of the wheel is coming through and the energy of the wheel is coming through. And this is going to be a very positive situation. This is going to be good situations happening in your life. The Wheel of Fortune is as if it's going to turn in ways that you weren't expecting all these wonderful new things new. And these are going to be materialistic things, positive things coming in your life, things that you were always dreaming of and you never knew that you would have gotten this and it's going to come in in July. As we look at July, August, we have the energy vibration in August of the uh, another hurt energy because this is positive. This is good. Whatever your plans is or whatever you want to do in June and July, go for it because it's going to happen for you. Go for it. So, we are looking at August. August is supposed to be a good positive month. Um, um, it's, it's, it's like one of these months that are blessed to bring in good luck. And there is going to be the Wheel of Fortune is bringing you towards this organization. For some people, if you're looking for work, it's going to be positive. You're going to connect with the right people in the right organization. This is going to be extremely good. And what is happening here is that wh whoever this organization is, whoever these groups of people is, whoever this um, 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 situation of the thing there is, you're going to see this coming in your life. And this is going to be extremely, extremely positive. And this is going to be very wonderful because it's as if this organization of this group of people are going to take you on and going to support you in what you're doing. Okay. So this is going to be good, but with all the luck, because um, the month of September and it's like the energy vibration of September is really, really, really um, the energy vibration. Let me just look and see what is happening in September. You have uh, the energy of the devil in September. Ooh, oh my gosh. The first double, double whammy. So this is a fire energy and this is the general energy also for the month of September. So there is a double whammy for you guys. So be aware in September because people, oh, the energy of people, negative energies and that sort of a thing is going to be there. You have to protect yourself in the month of September. September is a month that is showing up that endings and all these negative energies are happening in September. So be aware of this. This is a double whammy. Number 15, add number 15 
to your list of numbers and remember to protect yourself in the month of September so listen out for the energy vibration reading for that quarter and the month of September what you need to do because there is a double whammy of uh, the devil coming up for you guys so this is you need to be aware of this so the third quarter is going to begin on a very good note a lot of positive energy a lot of luck coming in for you guys but the energy of the devil is here so be aware and it the the energy of the devil can be bringing you success over your enemies okay over having in a strength and over your enemies so not to worry about that let's look at the last quarter of the year we're going to start with the month of october this is another fire month there's a lot of fire energies that is happening for you guys because you have only two earth uh, earth signs you have only two supporting energies in um, this year and what is happening here is that this fire energy is coming up and this fire energy is looking for inner strength okay you're going to need to find your inner strength in the month of October whatever is happening you need to really conjure up find your inner strength in the month of October because you're going to need that because you have so many fire and air energies that is happening around you in October and remember the energy of the devil in September because of the energy of lower energy vibrational people and situation in September you have to find the inner strength in October and in October by finding your inner strength the energy of your enemies you're going to have to stand up and say no it's not happening yes this is what is going to happen to you Virgos in the month of November you have to stand up and said no it's not happening you are not doing this to me you have to stand up because there is going to be a certain situation and this is going to affect a lot of people who are working and um, there is going to be um, a situation and, and, and things that are happening you're going to stand up and said no this is not happening to me this is not happening to me okay this you are going to stand up against the energy of your um, um, this is this is the energy of you standing up against your 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 your, your enemies and said hell no it's not happening it's not happening because they're going to start from September and October you have to find it in a strength and then in um, um, November you're going to say no and this has to do with people who are working people are working in organization people are in groups and that sort of a thing people are going to try to take things from you and you're going to stand up and say hell no it's not happening I'm standing up for this and this is going to be good because in December you are going to have a victory and this victory is going to be a positive powerful victory that is going to come in because you are standing up for yourself this is the energy of the chariot and this is going to be good because you're going to be victorious over your enemies and over the people who have um, transpired against you the people who have because it's the energy of the devil you can see as if this organization or this situation is trying to do something that is not right and you're going to stand up at it because it's like they want to chain you to a situation and you're going to stand up and say hell no this is not happening so you're going to win and you're going to win big December you're ending um, you're ending the the month the year of 2018 with a big big win and guess what is happening the stare was your energy vibration for this year so you go you Virgos you Virgos have been getting very good readings especially in this karmatic year and I guess I know why it's because you guys are working with a psychic world and you guys are very quiet but yet still you work with the energy vibration of uh, the unseen world and this is good so whatever the situation is whatever that is going to be transpiring for you Virgos you're going to win well, December is going to be a big win and this year 2018 you are carrying the energy vibration of the star and this is going to be positive last year you guys got also a very very good reading so this is going to be positive for you guys so 
I want to say to you Virgos you know this is good um, the endings and the, the negative things is you know the best month of this year as I've already told you it's June July August and December because you have to work you begin the year with a in, in, in the month of January with an injustice a, a growth injustice whatever has transpired it's going to come to an end the energy of the tower is going to come and cleanse that and there are going to be new situation new people that is going to come in to help you whatever information that is going to come out with the energy of the tower it's going to be positive energy and then the magician is going to come in and show you how you work your magic and with that in the first half of the year you're going to bring um, yourself to a lot of success a lot of you um, Virgos are going to have success in the month of June looking at the second half of the year you're beginning the second half of the year with a positive note a lot of luck luck with situation and organization this luck that you're going to receive you have to have inner strength because there are people that is going to try to you know break it or you know that sort of a thing and there's an organization that you have to really go <clears throat> you really have to fight with these people um, to bring in balance and stability and this sort of a thing and then at the end of the day you are going to be victorious over whatever situation that is going on okay so let's move forward and look at the um, Sun moon and rising sign so you guys have the energy of the star and this is going to be wonderful I, I'm sure you guys got the star last year too so anyway let's look so we have the energy of the sun coming in and with the energy of the sun you're going to work with the Aries business people and you are going to work also with the Gemini so this is good because I'm seeing this coming up from you know um, the ending of November 2017 that you're working with the Gemini's and I know why because they have um, um, two personalities they carry the energy of the lovers and two personalities and you also carry the energies of the mystic and the psychic with you to the moon people are going to be working with the Sagittarians which are, is a good business partner um, these can be good lovers too it depends um, on how you're looking at it and you have um, the energy of justice coming up so this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be positive so you are seeing um, good situation that is coming in your life so as I said the people the Sun people who are the Sun people these are the people that was um, um, that was born between the the time of 12 um, 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. these are the Sun people and you have to deal with the Aries so this could be there is nothing about love in this year for you guys there's absolutely nothing about love in this year for you guys it's all about you standing up and empowering yourself over injustice and equality and then we have the energy of the Gemini's coming in so this is good because the, the Gemini's will actually um, help you um, with certain situation and certain certain legalities that is happening in your life so this can be happening and this can be um, extremely very good as we move forward we have the energy vibration of uh, um, the moon people these are the people who were born between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and what we're having here for these moon people we are having to deal with the energy of the Sagittarians and the Librans this is a good good setup for business the um, Librans help you to bring in balance um, you are connected to the energies of the Librans uh, September is your month and this is why you are having a con conflicts because some people are changing over sign you're going back so you are having conflicts with yourself and the, the the Sagittarians are coming in to help you to understand but yet still help you to bring in a little luck and the Librans are here to help you guys so you know this is going to be positive in whatever way you look at it it is going to be positive um, some of you have to deal with the Librans because they are they, they they begin the year some of you have to deal with the Librans beginning the year because it's not always the legalities it is like the Librans that the Librans always want to balance out things but they're not always very honest 
this is what I see. Uh, the Librans will play on your emotion and being very manipulated. And so are you too, as a, a Virgo. So you have to look at this too. So they are here um, twice coming up and they can also be your enemies. So um, it, ca it can be this because I'm seeing an organization and you're standing up and you're saying, no, hell no, it's not happening. Okay. So um, let's move forward and let's see what is happening. We have the Ascendance Masters deck and the Unicorn came up for you guys. So this is going to be good. So the Unicorns are coming in to bless you guys. Um, number 22 um, is here, another duality, which is good. And it says, when you think about the Unicorns, your frequency rise and you attune to them these pure um, white seven dimension ascendance horses are touching you as you read this card they have come to you um, because you have a soul desire to serve humanity on and this planet bathe yourself in their energies and they will give you the dignity confidence and str and strength to do what is right other people will sense this and respond to it unicorns grant wishes to the pure in art so ask them to bring you something significant now i connect with the unicorn so i want to um and, and, and there is the affirmation, come back and read a card. So I want you to make a wish right now, you Virgos. It is so and it will be. All right, so there we are, you guys. Okay, let's see from the Akashic Records. Let's see what's happening with the Akashic Records. Let's see what's happening with the Akashic Records for you, Virgus, um, for the year 2018. And we seem to be having doubles coming up and we have the three of forests the bird nest the three of forests in reverse i have no idea why these cards in the reverse form but the last reverse that i got was a good message so let's see um this is the akashic records the akashic records is uh, um for everyone where um the universe um for everyone in the universe every soul in the universe as an akashic record so let's see what is happening the energy of the number three the bird nest is in the reverse form so let's see yep, the roses because uh, i haven't um, gone deeper in this so i have to read from the book you have the keys you have the forces you have the akashic records five of scroll um and you have the three of rose i still haven't really figured out so what is the rose because they don't even explain this i'm a little bit disappointed in this deck because they haven't you know like explain what is the rose and that sort of a thing anyway the akashic records the three oh the three of forces the three of forces in reverse um, forces the three of forces in reverse I would have think that the three of forces is sword so let's see what is the three of forces because honestly people I'm I'm so so busy I'm not aware of uh, three of forces three of forces so it's a three of pentacles in reverse i would think i'm not sure so let's see it is in the reverse form what does the three of forests say the bird's nest in the reversal form indicates some sort of separation um reduction or reorganization there may be a distance between you and family members a business endeavor may need to be downside and bought and brought to an end or friends may be far away but take art and emptiness is always a sign of happy 
flies so an emptiness is always a sign of happy fly this card in the reverse form is telling you to let go of the hole the ruin in your plans or take a new direction there may even be a, a physical movement at hand either for your own your business or both be conscious of your options and be courageous in your choices though some part of this experience may feel like a loss at first this time of a reduction or relocation can actually lead to great personal freedom and professional transformation so here we are and you can see this happening because you have the forces coming at you whatever was the legality situation that was happening it was happening here because you see the forces coming at you with the energy of the devil and you have to find inner strength and then you are really fighting with your enemies because this moon is the energy of your enemies coming up so you know this is um i understand um really the the, the three of ness in and uh, in, in the reverse so let's move on let's go ahead and let's see what is happening here okay um you have the third eye i see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life number 24 so that is six um so 22 24 and three so this the third eye chakra I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life and this is what is happening I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life you have another purple card you earth sign seems to be receiving the energy of purple so this is good because this is spirituality this is the universal angels and guides that are coming in you need to work on your third eye you um, Virgos in this year it's very 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 important so as we move forward and we look at have courage to ask for and accept help so you Virgos in this year you need to, um, to ask for help is a sign of strength as it uh, um, accepting it is is offered to you very often when you ask God for help prayers or answers through other people be sure to accept this assistant as well as give it to others as you are guided to okay so this in this year to um, in the year 2018 you are going to be asking people for help and the courage the wheel of fortune is here and the wheel of fortune is always bringing and the world is here so the wheel of fortune and the here right behind is always bringing help and guidance and people with a magician are coming in to help because you have the four elements that is going to happen with the world so money is going to be here it's not going to be a a situation but you need to ask for help in whatever situation I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for being here thank you for being back namaste I'm wishing you all a wonderful new year please like share these videos and um, share them namaste